children of God. It's Miss Kristen again. Whew. Did you see all of the wind that was coming from that balloon and that hairdryer? Well, maybe you didn't actually see the air or the wind itself, but you could certainly see what it was doing. You could see the impact that it had. Today, we're going to talk about something that you can't necessarily see with your eyes, but you can see the impact it has, and it can work through us and with us. And we're also going to talk about a very special, important event in the life of the church, and it's an event that involved some wind and some noise and even some fire as well. So, we're talking about the event of Pentecost. This is a very special thing that happened in the life of the church. So we recently talked about the ascension and how after Easter, Jesus spoke with his disciples and then he ascended, went up into heaven. Well, he also told them to wait a little while that he was going to send a very special helper and that that helper was going to allow them to spread the word about Jesus all over the world. Well, 10 days after the ascension, that's 50 days after Easter, if you're doing that math, the disciples were waiting in a room and it happened just as Jesus promised. There was a rushing sound and a big wind and then the tongues of fire, the little flames appeared on top of the disciples' head and they received the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was what Jesus had promised to send. And it was Jesus, and it was God as well. That's that whole Trinity mystery happening. And the Holy Spirit filled the disciples up and made them so excited that they couldn't help but tell everyone about Jesus. So because the Holy Spirit came, it allowed them to share the good news. It got them eager and excited, and they were even able to speak in other languages. There were all sorts of people that were in Jerusalem at the time, and the disciples started sharing this good news of Jesus, and everyone could understand them. Even though they spoke different languages, everyone could hear like it was their own. It was an amazing, wonderful, powerful thing. And after that day, that was just the beginning. Some people say that Pentecost is like the birthday of the church, that that's where it all started. The disciples started to share the good news and to tell others about Jesus, and they continued to do that. In fact, they went to other countries and they traveled all over the world to tell people about Jesus. And they started churches and they started sharing with one another and caring for one another and building up the church and spreading the good news of the gospel everywhere. And you know, what's even more exciting than the day of Pentecost or that first receiving of the Holy Spirit is the fact that we can all do that job of spreading the good news of Jesus. In fact, that's what Jesus wants us to do. He wants us to spread his love and to share with one another. We might not have flames above our heads, that could get dangerous, but we do have the Holy Spirit. When we have Jesus, we have that Holy Spirit power as well. And that allows us to share with other people. See, the church is not just a building. It's not just a service that happens once a week or a pastor speaking a sermon or people singing songs. The church is the body of Christ. And that body is meant to love one another and to share with everyone around them. Our job is to shine the light of Jesus everywhere. It could be across an ocean or it could be across the street. We want to show others the love of Jesus. We can pray for them, we can care for them, we can love them, we can serve God by serving one another, and we can keep the church going. We can't see the Holy Spirit, but it is definitely working. And when we are loving others, and when we are sharing the love of Christ, and sharing the gospel good news, we are part of that story of the church. And we are able to do God's work on earth to tell everyone about him. Wow, that is a fantastic blessing that we get to have, not just on Pentecost, but every day. So remember to love one another, to share God's good news with everyone around you. Look for opportunities to do that this week. 
Maybe we can pray for some right now, shall we? Dear God, thank you for your church. Thank you that we are a part of it. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for Jesus. Help us to shine his light and to share his love with everyone around us. We love you, God. You are amazing and mighty. Thank you for Jesus. In his name, amen.